Hello dear friends, so today's video is recorded downstairs in my little workshop that I have set up for creating glass beads and jewelry and there I also have a burnout furnace I will show you in a moment. I will start the series with burning out PLA. There are several PLAs on the market that claim that they are uh, that they can be burned out for casting purposes and I got one that I will show you here because normally they, sh they are kind of neutral colored or uncolored PLAs and this one here is blue. It's from a company called iBeam and it is called blue cast a uh, blue wax casting filament. Yeah and so here it is. A friend of mine, he uses this for casting purposes, but I just want to see what it looks like. So this one should work. I will ramp up the temperature right away to 850 degrees from, from room temperature, 9 degrees per minute. And I created little test pieces here. See, it says burnout test. And uh, yeah, this is going to be lots of fun for those who are interested. I, I guess it's a very specific uh, topic. I already made a small little intro where you could see how it could look like. So some resins, they, they blow up, so they kind of foam and then they turn totally black and then collapse. And then all of a sudden they're, they're gone. And to see if there is some ashes left, I will burn it out on a platin foil that I loaned from a friend of mine after this test I will give it back uh, but it should be fine yeah because platinum has a very high melting point so nothing should happen with it and it if something re leaves a residue I can sandblast because I have a sandblaster so nothing should happen and I could even go up to thousand degrees because the, the 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 furnace can go so high it's a dental furnace and so I have uh, also some some resins but the the first films are going to be about uh, natural PLA. Great so I will take off the camera I will put it uh, into position right away but first I want to show you the the burnout furnace. I will take the camera off the tripod and I will show you the setup that I have here. Okay, so you see here is the, the burnout furnace and above I have a, a suction. This furnace has a catalyst. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm curious to see or to say, better to say to smell how much it will still stink. And as you see here, it goes out of the, the window and uh, yeah, hopefully it will do its work. And yeah, so I will, I will put the platinum foil in here right away and then I will start to turn on the furnace. As you can see, this is the first test candidate. I will close the furnace now. I will start at 31 degrees and I will ramp this up. This is my program here and it will go up 9 degrees per minute. And I will open up the furnace uh, every 50 degrees to see what's happening and then start to film this. Yeah, see, see, it's already rising. And I guess at 50 degrees, we will not see anything. We have 47 degree, so we're almost there. Okay, 49. And on 50, I'm going to open up the furnace. Okay, let's see what's going on. So still nothing to see really. It doesn't even deform. So it looks quite stable. And now let's close the furnace again. And then I will open it up again at 100 degrees. So now let's wait until it hits the 100 mark. Okay. So let's take a look. As you can see, it has curled up a little bit, but not too much. 
and it hasn't lost its form. Still, still uh, everything is readable. Okay, let's go higher. I will close the furnace again and we see each other at 150. 150, let's see. So still stable. It already starts smelling a bit, but it's still okay. I haven't activated the suction yet. This is only the catalyst in the furnace here. Almost 200 degrees. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look inside. Still nothing happened, but it's starting to melt on the surface. It gets a little bit blurry already. So now it's kind of melting like like a wax. Almost 250 degrees. Okay, let's open up the furnace. As you can see, the edges are have melted. The top has melted almost 300 degrees. And I guess now something is happening because it's starting to smell all of a sudden. This went now very, very quickly. So let's open up the furnace. As you can see, it started melting. It looks like a goo now and it's uh, the surface is bubbly. For me, I will close it again. Now I will also turn on the external suction because it stinks too much. 350. So let's take a look. Oh, that's interesting. So it melted totally away, uh, but it uh, it didn't expand. It just melted away. So now let's see if it burns out cleanly. Almost 400. Okay, so let's take a look. It's still gooey. Lots of black stuff. There you go. It hasn't changed last last 50 degrees, so let's see what happens next almost 450 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Oh, that's interesting. Can you see it's turning white and it's already gone in some areas? That's very interesting. So next one will be 500 degrees. Almost at 500. Let's open up the furnace. See, it's almost not black anymore, only white. Almost 550. Okay, there we go. Let's take a look. So it looks like, like a sugar crust, but all the black is gone. Yeah, very interesting. So next one, 600. Okay, so let's look inside. As you see, it's still kind of white. and uh, But I guess it's already less than it was before. Okay, let's open up the furnace. And you see, it's still white. It hasn't changed. Okay, 700. So let's take a look inside. Okay, it's already... In the back, it's already uh, disappearing. The white crust is getting lighter. I have hopes that in 50 degrees more, we will see a big change. It should be cleaning up. Okay, 750. It starts glowing in the furnace now, as you can see. And uh, in the front, it's still there. The back is almost gone. Just a little bit. Some flakes, flakes are still there, but it's definitely clearing up. Here we are at 800 degrees. As you see, nothing has changed. So let's see the next one. Almost 850. I switched the lens, got off the, the ladder. And so 850, and I pushed back the... Oh yeah, okay, now it's cut. Okay, this is normal. This, as it reached the end temperature, I pushed back the platinum foil. Um, but as you can see, the crust is still there. Uh, I 
I will go a bit higher. I will go, try to go as high as I can. It has passed 900. Um, I already looked inside. You cannot see anything anymore because it's glowing. So let's do it different this time. I will pull out the platinum foil to the front. I'm going to go to 1000 degrees now and we just passed 900. Now we're on 950. And uh, let's see if that changes something. I have a feeling that the, the white crust is disappearing slowly. Maybe this just needs a longer soaking time. Okay, let's take a look. Okay. As you can see here, it's glowing like crazy in there. And uh, it's still there, but it's uh, got crusty. So now we're at 1000 degrees, almost. I'm gonna pull it out again and bring it to the front. Just wait until, yeah, 1000, okay. I'm used to this because I'm a dental technician. Okay, so I'm going to stop it here, but we see it's clearing up. There are a few little bits left. I guess this has to be fired uh, at a very high temperature. I guess uh, at 1100, I guess maybe nothing will be left anymore. But this will not uh, do for jewelry or something, it's just for industrial purposes. Okay. Hello. So this is next day. I let the furnace cool down overnight and I wanted to show you what I found. What it looks like now. I will take it out and present it to you. So it is cooled down. I can touch it like this and I will show you. I don't know if you can see. So there are a few little uh, little bits left here in the front but not very much in the back there's still a little bit but I guess if I would have left it longer on thousand degrees maybe let's say an hour or so I guess these little bits that are still left would have also burned out 100% so this material does burn out totally and um, but for my purposes, uh, as I want to create jewelry, and I know that there are resins that burn out at 850 degrees, this will, might not be the right material for me. But if you are working in the industrial area, um, this will be the, the right resin for you. You know, if you create big parts that uh, you send to a, a casting company or so, so this would be the right material. Uh, it's printed very easily. Uh, I, I like the, the the way it looks. The results look very nice. I, I took the, the little um, box with all the samples I had already took upstairs again, but I will show uh, you in this picture here. You can see what it looks like. So it prints very nice. I, I, I thought it would be challenging to print it, but it prints as easily as any other PLA. So. Yeah, it's a, it's a very nice material. Okay, so I hope you liked it. Yeah, maybe you found it interesting. And the next material I will burn out will be the, the natural PLA from Esun. And I'm already curious to see what, what this one behaves like. Okay, bye-bye.